this is a 14N5U board right here. It's the only board it has. So I just got finished changing out the capacitors here. If you look right there by the flyback, that's listed as the primary power supply. Over here is secondary power supply. There's only a couple of capacitors. So I changed out all the ones with the red on there. There's a little one back there. And by the heat sinks. This one's a little trickier to get into. But a little bit of patience, you'll get there. And this is a list of them with what they had. On the C500, I used a 47 UF 160 volt. That shouldn't be a problem. But yeah, that's that's the list of the ones I just changed and what they are. That should fix the uh, uneven lines. The only one that could have been problematic is that this one's a different size. I couldn't find one or I didn't find one that was the right size, like lead size, but of course it has the right UF and voltage. It took a little bit to get it in there, but I didn't want to change out any of the big guys because I did that before and that didn't change anything. So hopefully this is the fix. This is a picture of an N1U I had before. If you look how bad the geometry is like that, I don't even know what you'd call that, but the line's right there. So I eventually gave up on that one a couple of years ago. But by changing the capacitors, you can go from that to this. And before, I'd have to turn it down, the contrast, so I could straighten out the lines. Now that I've changed those, I've let it warm up for a little while. Go ahead and pump up that contrast. It doesn't do anything but turn up the contrast. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, so it only it only cost about twenty five dollars in capacitors, but you're gonna get a whole bunch of extra capacitors, which will be good in case you get another or the N series and you want to do this. Yeah, looks pretty damn good. And I marked all the ones there that I changed in red. It was just the ones on the, the primary power and by that heat sink over there. And she's purring like a kitten. Put some fresh dielectric grease on it. Uh, there's a 1353. She's next. She doesn't need anything, but still. And I just got a crappy soldering iron. Uh, crappy soldering iron. The capacitor is in a little bit of time and you can get it up and running just fine and the n-series is a good one to start on because like I showed it has just that one board that's not that full of capacitors I think grand total there's about 60 of them yeah so I, I left that capacitor list if you want to change that 